Observing and giving feedback. A key task of practice leadership is ensuring staff provide good quality support. Frontline supervisors need to point out to staff good practice, help staff to reflect on their practice and support them to improve. We will look at how frontline supervisors can do these things using observation and feedback. The best way of identifying good practice and areas to improve is to observe staff while they are working. This involves watching staff and thinking about the quality of their support. You need to set time aside for observations. Lots of things will be happening when staff are working and you are observing them. It may seem overwhelming at first to take it all in, but there are key aspects to look for. Start by looking at a person in the service. What are they doing in that moment? Are they engaged in a meaningful activity or social interaction? Are they choosing and controlling what they are doing? What support are they receiving and how are they experiencing it? What is it like for them? Then turn your attention to what the support worker is doing. Is the worker supporting a person or several people in a meaningful activity or interaction? How well is the support worker putting into practice the four essentials of active support? How are they interacting and communicating with the person or people they are supporting? And are they being respectful? Part of the purpose of observing staff is to provide them with feedback so they can improve and develop their skills. You'll need to think about the feedback you're going to provide to the support worker. This is an important step. You need to plan what to provide feedback about and how to structure and phrase it. You could ask yourself the following questions. What worked well? Was the assistance suitable? And did the person perform the activity successfully? Was the communication appropriate? Did the person understand what the support worker was communicating? What could be improved? And what will I say to this staff member? After thinking about the feedback, you're ready to provide it. Keep in mind that one purpose of giving feedback is to motivate staff and encourage good support. Start by finding out the staff member's perception of their support. For example, asking an open-ended question like, how do you think that went? Next, discuss the positives and what worked well. Provide specific examples and use the language of active support. You'll need to help staff to reflect on their practice and how to improve it. You can do this by asking open-ended questions, such as, what were the advantages of using that approach? How do you think the person you supported responded? What might you do differently next time? When giving advice or suggestions, be constructive. Provide clear ideas and examples about how to do things differently. Some staff may feel uncomfortable receiving feedback but if it's delivered in a positive and respectful way, staff are more likely to be receptive to it. You need to keep staff motivated, so don't only talk about the negatives or areas to improve. Always start with a positive comment. Support workers, like staff in any organisation, rely on feedback to know how well they are performing. Observing staff and providing feedback is a skill that comes more easily through practice. Once you have conducted several observations, patterns will emerge in the way staff provide support and across team members. These patterns can be topics for supervision, team meetings and coaching sessions.